Well, there's Rosie the chicken. She's got a couple friends with her today. It's, uh, this is a nice place to be out of the wind for the animals. But the last video we had completed the, uh, the on the update, the concrete there, I poured the strips right along here. Work this camera with a tripod on. Something uh, that's funny is right here, a chicken come through there pecking and they, not necessarily scratching, but it sure made a mess out of this, this concrete slab here. So I fixed it and then I come back later and then there's still chicken tracks in there. I've got this uh, cattle panel keeping the, the cows out of the shed here. Uh, as I've stated before, I want to buy the hardware and go ahead and put uh, sliding doors on this side so it's I don't have to undo all the, you know, the, the chain here, the, the uh, tie down tarp rubbers. So I did add a LED light so you could have some light inside here. It would be pretty dark if I take and turn it off. But uh, yeah, you can see the wind is kind of blowing the light around right now. So let me go ahead and start cleaning up this mess. Get ready for some logs. Welcome back to the farm. We're standing inside of the sawmill side shed. I finished the foundation strips. It's uh, going to be the next couple three days. Nice weather, so I decided to go ahead and pour that concrete. Matter of fact, I think the chain drive come off of the concrete mixer, and I'm going to have to fix that before I start any more uh, or start any more concrete plans. Kind of a mess in here. I'm going to clean up, get the sawmill ready to. The telephone poles, the utility poles, I'm gonna go ahead and start sawing the utility poles up. I'm just going to make them into cants. Now that the telephone poles are 22 foot long, I can cut 16 and a half foot uh, logs, but I think that I will cut them into 10 and 12 foot sections and then the, the cants, I, I'm going to say there'll be seven to eight inch cants uh, squared up but uh, let me turn the camera around a quick view of right now and uh, it's kind of a windy stormy uh, a storm is coming with with the rain so there probably be some wind noise in the making of this video I'll try to stay out of it as much as I can probably just fill in the gaps with music to, to drown out the wind nosy rosies up on the hay they're cackling probably laid an egg rule number one in making a video Make sure the video camera's on. I just missed out a bunch of footage there. Uh, let me go ahead and add water.
Well, I need to stop and change the blade. I'm having to push it too hard to try to cut through these telephone poles. But um, this is a seven by seven, 10 foot long cant that just come off of that telephone pole. Of course, you wanna wear the dust mask. You can see the fine dust blowing in the air. It is the chemical, I'm not sure, creosote, whatever it is that they treat these utility poles with has like an 80 year, uh, 80 year lifespan on them. So it's some pretty nasty stuff. You don't want to breathe it. I can really smell the vapor of this wood in the air from that chemical. So at this time, I'm going to shut this off and stack this and change the blade.